We are up on Battle Hill, which is named for the Battle of Brooklyn, also known as the Battle of Long Island. And so this is August 27th of 1776. The British for months have been gathering the largest expeditionary force in the history of the world. Up until that time, some 500 ships are in the harbor. They have 30,000 men on Staten Island. George Washington is in Manhattan, but he also has forces on Brooklyn because he doesn't know which way the British are gonna attack, whether they're gonna go up the Hudson, up the East River, or attack through Brooklyn. And the middle of August of 1776, just weeks after the Declaration of Independence, the British launch their forces by ship over to Gravesend Bay, and then they split their forces. And so General James Grant, who had bragged in Parliament that given 5,000 men, he could conquer all of North America, is given 6,000 men and is sent along the Gowanus and along the shore, the western shore of Long Island, and he splits his force to come up towards what is now Greenwood Cemetery. And a Hessian force under General de Heister comes to his right. And then a larger main force of the British under Generals Cornwallis and Clinton and Howe go up to the right through Jamaica Pass. And the idea is that Grant will distract the advance force that has come out of the fortifications that are to the north, Forts Putnam and Green and Cobble Hill and he will get the advance force under Lord Sterling engaged. The rest of the force will come around behind them. And so the battle begins early in the morning hours of August 27th. Lord Sterling, an American general, comes out with two to 3,000 men. He forms a line, and for the first time, the Americans in the Revolutionary War take on the British toe-to-toe -to -toe in the open field during this battle. And this is also the largest battle of the entire American Revolution in terms of soldiers gathered on or about the field. And so a total of 50,000 men. Uh, Sterling's line, as it's set up, is behind us. And the men out there look to their left and they see a, what they describe as a bald hill. And that is the hill that we are standing on now. So the Americans send 300 men at the double quick coming up to take this hill so that the British cannot establish an artillery position up here. As they approach the hill, they receive a volley and they quickly learn that the British have taken the hill. The Americans, Delaware men and Pennsylvania men and Connecticut men are able to storm the hill and take it. And then they hold this hill against two counter offensives. So they are outnumbered. There are 2,000 British forces up here and about 300 Americans. They run out of ammunition at one point, but they are able to hold the hill. The British suffer one third of their casualties for the entire Battle of Brooklyn, which spans miles on this particular hill. And the forces that are up here suddenly realize that things have gotten very quiet up here. And so they go down to where Lord Sterling's line had been and discovered that Sterling is no longer there, that he had retreated to the north and ultimately to the defense at the Vecht House, now known as the Old Stone House, where the Maryland 400 made their gallant stand in the hopes of allowing the other men who had been out here under Lord Sterling to retreat. The men who were up here learning that Sterling had retreated try to make it back up here and unfortunately they are captured and many of them die on prison ships uh, just off of Brooklyn.